Hi everybody, thanks for joining me today and a special thank you for all of you who joined my auction on Thursday. I am definitely doing that again, that was so much fun. I don't know if I'll be doing it again this Thursday, but it's highly possible. And I really appreciated those of you who stopped by. I also appreciated those who made purchases. A couple of you I have not heard from since the auction who did make purchases. And so if you're listening, please do contact me at Adrian Gill at Hotmail. And if you ever forget my email address, it's right there in the About section. And I look forward to hearing from you. These are my own sterling silver and onyx earrings and a sterling silver bracelet. And I'm not selling off of my body today. <laughs> um, but anyway, we're going to get started. This is from Wisconsin. It was bid on at $37. It's about 10 pounds. And with shipping, it was 55 and I do want to also give a shout out today. I'm not wearing these because I, um, I'm wearing black and this didn't quite match the outfit, but these were made for me by Lydia from Arito Jewels, and I will put her YouTube channel in the chat. Lydia, I adore you. You're amazing. These were made special for me with my color hair and green eyes since I have green eyes. And those I just absolutely love and I will be wearing them on my channel another day. Uh, but I happen to put these on today. All right, let's get started. I'm looking forward to sharing this with you guys. And let's start with this. This is a seed bead bracelet, one of those um, memory wire ones. I happen to like this one because it's it's black and silver. Some of these are in, you know, pastel colors and that's maybe not something I would wear every day, but this I think is cute in those um, in those tones. So I will hold on to that. Next is, I'm gonna bring you guys a little bit closer to me. This is kind of a lanyard cord, a handmade piece and I am going to put that into the craft pile. We have a magnetized crystal bracelet. That's pretty. Looks a little big. I wonder if this is an anklet because that is, that's really big on me. Anyway, it's pretty. And hmm, I have a feeling it's going to be a very interesting mix of things today. Okay, this to me looks sterling. And where is my little loop? It is. So that's very good early on. I like it. I love finding sterling. And that's a cute little guy or girl. <laughs> very pretty. So we'll hang that there. Here we have a very banged up, this is glass ring. You can see it's the coppers coming through. I'm putting that in craft. It also feels a bit rough on the glass, so I don't want to, in, in fact, I'm going to throw that out because I don't want anyone getting hurt on that. Um, these are wooden beads, and we will put that in craft as well. It's a pretty earring, button earring, gold tone. The gold is nice on that, as you can see. So let's put that in the earring section over there. Hope you guys are having a nice start to your weekend. I am very relaxed and I just came from, I'm putting that in craft, it's homemade. I just came from the post office to mail everyone their purchases and I hope you all like everything. A lot of the pieces were really, really beautiful. This is an enamel bracelet, clamp bracelet, pretty with flowers, gray and black. Let's see what this is. This, I do not know what this is. Hold on. Um, I don't know. I'm going to put this 
Presidium gem tester on. I don't know if this is a real piece of quartz or not, or jersey, but I will test it. And let's see what this chain is like. If it's sterling. I don't think it is, but it's not. Magnet. So, I don't know, usually these quartz pieces are cold, but my hands are cold too, so I'll test that in a second. I think this is a pin, and let's see what it says. Wheelahan Fine Art. I'll have to look that up. That must be from a museum or something. I'll put that to the side. All right, let's test this guy, see if it's a real stone or not. And I love this gem tester, it's really helpful. It is. Wow, this went to Jadeite and Spinel. Interesting, okay, so that's very pretty. It was pretty before I knew it was real too, but um, that's a real stone. And look at the glitter, the um, sparkle. All right, so that's a nice find, I like it. And let me know guys, for those of you who were in the auction the other day, if there were things that I should have shown you that I didn't, that would have been interesting, I am very open to hearing what you have to say. I watch a lot of the auctions. In fact, I'm looking forward to Thelma's later today. Um, it's Saturday. This looks sterling to me. Let me see. So, you know, I I don't know yet. It's not. I don't know yet what my following is like. But it's a cute necklace, though. It needs to be cleaned up. I don't know yet what my following is like. So I don't know what you guys are looking for. You know, someone like Thelma's, um, Thelma, who's been doing this for a while, I'm sure she has an idea of her audience. So she gets it right. But I don't know yet so if there are things you want to see that I didn't share let me know this is definitely not sterling and um, I can see the copper coming through but I'll put it aside to test I just don't think it's anything put it over there so yeah it's hard to tell what people want to see and I'll say pretty abalone shell. It's a little bit nerve-wracking because if people aren't bidding, you kind of get nerve-wracked because you want people to get excited and bid, not only for you, but to make it really fun for everybody else. I don't want people bored in the chat. 80 people showed up. So that was amazing. I think that this is sterling as well. Let me just go in and look. I may have to get out my tester, my acids, but this is such a big bag that I don't feel like I will get much done if I test everything, which is why I don't have it out. This is a really big bag. Um, okay, this is kind of falling apart. It's a bracelet. This feels like, you know, just like a material. I'll put that in craft. So, yeah, I tried to show... A wide variety of things and um, I don't know what what seemed it seemed to me resonated were the more unique pieces number one uh, no surprise there but also some of the you know the chunkier pieces which I happen to like myself as well but um, so that was that was kind of predictable there's gonna be a bunch of tangles in here um, because I, I feel like the bigger pieces might also show better. Oh, isn't this perfect for Easter? I knew this was Avon. <laughs> they all have that look, that Avon look, but look how cute that is for Easter. That little bunny. Oh my gosh, with the floppy ears that move. That's so sweet. I love that. These are wooden beads. Not sure they're in the best condition. I'm going to put those into craft. So, yeah, so that was that was my Thursday. And my helper, isn't he cute, guys? 
And this has the greenies. I'm putting that in craft. It's kind of messed up. He is a treat, that guy. My honey bunny, my Mark. He is an angel. I got very lucky. You guys know I married later in life. And it certainly paid off. That's an awesome clip earring. It certainly paid off because I, I knew what I wanted. I waited for it. And he showed up and it was it was like, I'm done. I'm done dating. I'm going to put that in the bead lot. Yeah. It, you know, when you're older, I think there's something about all of the knowledge that you have during your other courtships that make it, you know, I guess, just, you become more educated, for lack of a better word, on yourself and what works for you. And I'm not sure how this goes, but I'll have to fix that. Um, it's not sterling. Um, you, you develop an understanding of yourself and what works and what doesn't work. And... I kind of knew when I met Mark. I knew right away. I don't know what that is. If that's real stone or not. No, those are beads. Those are beads. So, it was very easy for me to make a decision when he came around. Plus, he's cute. That's that earring. It's broken anyway, so I don't have to feel bad for putting into the craft lot. He is definitely a cutie. This is an interesting closure. I think it snaps in there or screws in. Screws in. Who makes this? Joan Rivers. Nice find. Very nice. I was just um, watching one of Dawn's old videos this morning and she was talking about Joan Rivers. I think this is supposed to screw in. I don't, I don't know. Some of these, yeah, I think that that's what it is. Because some of these, I know that she made, they had pendants that you could attach and change out. So that's a beautiful find. Vintage Joan Rivers. Already not a bad bag for 50 some odd bucks. Because that's probably worth 40 This is a costume piece. Um, it's in pretty good condition. Except for the lock. It's a little tarnished, but who cares. With faux pearls. It's pretty. Stretch bracelet. And I think it says something in here. I'm not sure. Hold on. That's just a star. It's it's stretched out, so I'm going to put that in the craft lot. And another... Well, I thought this was a lanyard. This is not. This is a um, bracelet by Stella and Dot. Nice find. And it is untangling a little bit. But I might just take the chain off of there. Their pieces are really nice, but it is ripping, so, hmm. I wonder if this could be glued. I do have jewelry glue. Let me think about that. Still in dot. Wrap bracelet. And what else can I pull out of this bag of treasures? I'm going to go to the bottom of the bag here. Okay. I like that Joan Rivers piece. I'm excited. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I should have spent some time with this before I turn the camera on, you guys. I feel bad. Although, everyone goes through these tangles, so I don't know if anyone cares. That's pretty. That's a very sweet little piece. I hope that's sterling. It is not, but that's cute. Very cute little piece there. I like it. Here's a clip-on. I don't see a maker's mark. 
Maybe I do. Nope. And that's kind of like an animal print. Very cool. Very 80s. What is this? This is pretty. I don't know what this this was. It might have been a pendant. Very pretty pendant. I like that. Let's see what happens. Let's see what else we find. Um, another clip-on earring. And I think I need to throw a light on behind me. I don't see maker's mark on this either. Silver tone. Here is a pendant. Maker's mark is... Huh. I can't read it. This is weird. Um, it's almost like in a... Andraco? Don't know, but that's pretty. You see the flower? Can you see that, guys, when the light shines through? That's because of this. Wait, let me see. I think I see more of a maker's mark up here. Made in USA. I don't, I don't know what the maker's mark is, but that's pretty. That's a very pretty pendant. Um, We've got a bunch of crafty stuff. There's a pendant. Look at that. <laughs> it's like that watermelon color. Um, hoop earrings. Let's see. These are sterling. No. Nope. Nice shape on those, though. They need to be cleaned. Another clip-on. I think there are going to be a bunch of clip-ons in here. I have to put together some clip-ons to give to my aunt. I just heard she's wearing them, so I need to do that. Um, okay. Clip-on. Clip-on, but that's broken. Craft lot. Here is a ring costume. does say something in there, but it's not legible. And I'm sure this is costume. Let's just see. Rahahas. Hmm. Glass. No. Has some stones in there, so I was just checking for kicks and giggles. This is a match to that pendant. Pretty abalone shell. I'm putting that in craft. Craft. And this is pretty. Does this match that pendant? Close, but no. Very pretty. That's pierced. And this looks like sterling. Let's see? Yep, 925. And that looks like mother of pearl, maybe. That's pretty. All right, that's very good. I'll still test it before I sell it, but that's good to good to see. Um, what is this? This looks like a pendant. But I think that's a broken piece. It actually looks like an A, but I don't know. Um, this could have been a part to an earring, but it feels a little heavy. It feels like it would be a pendant. Let's see what else comes out. Here's the match to that earring. So I'm going to put that in there. Put that in there as I match them up. Interesting animal print earring. Very 80s. And this is broken craft. Um, there's an earring. It's kind of 
like just tarnished. Um, what's this earring? This looks pretty. This looks st maybe sterling, not sure. Let's see if it says anything in there. Yep. Nine to five. Great. There's going to be some sterling in here, guys. That's just a bead. I know. I'll test that. Cute little hoop. Let's see, I don't think that's silver, but nope. You never know, guys. Little cute hoop. This says Leah Sophia. I kind of had a feeling. What is this? Is this a necklace? I guess so, huh? Oh, that's cute. That's pretty. Never heard of Leah Sophia until I started doing these jewelry bags, by the way. Huh. That has an interesting sound. I don't think there's any white Bakelite, um, but no, I don't think so. This could be ceramic, I don't, I don't know. Let's see how that cleans up. Another clip-on earring. Yeah, there we go. Does anyone wear clip-ons today? I think folks who have problems with their piercings do, and I understand why. I talked about this in my auction, um, because it makes sense to preserve the post hole in your ear. These look old. Those are cool. Oops. Um, yeah, you have to preserve your, um, your ears. This is cute. This is a, an angel. Usually these are pins, but I think this is an earring. It has a regular earring back. Bracelet. And this is family where life begins and... Love never ends. Um, love. This has that arrow. What is that brand? Um, I need to look this up. I can't remember right now. Sopata. I think that's their little arrow. I have to look it up. So, what is this? Okay, this is all shell. This is not going to come out without rips in it. What is that? That's cool. This is Lucky Brand. They make some cool stuff. Look at that horn. And I really like that chain. That's very pretty. Well made. I like that. All right, here is a necklace, toggle necklace, heart. Definitely needs to be cleaned, but all of the stones are there. And I don't know if I can find a maker's mark on this, but that's pretty. And obviously the toggle will go in the front here with the pendant. I bet my stepdaughter's going to like that. Okay, this looks like sterling, but a piece of it came off. Heavy though, 925. So there must have been a stone in there. I'll scrap that for the silver, it's heavy. Um, or if I find the stone, I do have my jewelry glue. That's a stretchy, it's vintage stretchy. I do have jewelry glue, so I am capable of fixing things that are easy to fix. <laughs> this is broken. I'm going to put that in the craft lot. 
Yeah, you have to you have to be able to fix the things that um, aren't difficult because some of the broken jewelry is in almost perfect condition. It's just like these little tweaks you need to make and then they're perfect. So I have my jewelry glue and some tools, but nothing, I can't do anything complicated. This will go in craft. Let me know guys if you like anything that you see or if you would like a craft lot, let me know. This looks like Native American to me. Vintage. I bet that's silver. Let's see. Yep. I think that is. So I don't know much about that category. I must admit. I wish I did. Because I do get Native American stuff from time to time. And I can tell the look of it. But it's um, it's definitely not my um, expertise area. I'm much more knowledgeable about like the vintage brands, I guess because I've been studying it. Um, this is interesting. This looks like a religious piece of jewelry. And it looks vintage by the lock. I don't know. I'm going to put that aside for my aunt. Okay. Um, this is a brooch and it's missing some stones so I'm going to put that in craft and here is a necklace with all of these shells let me see it does have a maker here and it says Cookie Lee Cookie Lee is another brand I did not know about until I started buying and selling jewelry. There's a whole contingent of brands that I think people sold out of their homes. Like Silpata, like Cookie Lee, like um, Leah Sophia that I did not quite know about. Okay, so this goes, wow, this is a long piece. And I don't know where the other side of it goes but it is a long neck oh here it is I couldn't find it for a second so this is a long piece and it's kind of like layered so that's cute it's in great condition considering it's pretty delicate with these shells so good for you cookie Lee quality stuff um this is a stretch, a lot of just chips and stuff. It's worn out, put it in craft, which is fine. I have been having a lot of good luck lately with these lots. Um, I have found a fair amount of sterling and gold. This is not one of them. <laughs> it's broken and it is not real. Um, oh, what's this? Oh, this is missing stones. That's a shame. This looks like a really cool vintage piece. Oh, oh well. Um, yeah, this is really broken. Okay. I don't know. But that might have been cool at one time, but maybe someone who used those stones. Who knows? Necklace that has seen better days. That goes into the craft lot. And let's see. Okay, these are puzzle bracelets. And I'm sure they are not sterling. Although it'd be nice if they were because they are... Um, heavy. They're not, they're not magnetic. Where's my testing kit? Oh, let's see. 
Let me just do a scratch test on these. I wasn't going to test silver, but no, I can't even get a scratch out of that. So those are cute, though. I like that. Um, craft lot, bebop, and here are some more beads. Um, these are red, white, and blue. These are very cute. Some of these are glass. I'm going to hold on to that because that's very patriotic. Well done. This is a broken necklace. I'll put that in the craft lot. What's this? Here's a little bow. This looks very Betsy Johnson. I sold such a cute Betsy Johnson piece. Oh my gosh. On Thursday. And some of these things that I sold, I put on my body and I was like, oh, that's so cute. This is Claire's. It's really worn out. Craft lot. Look at this earring. That's interesting. It's like a flower. Let's see. Not magnetic. I mean, it is magnetic. Sorry. Um, this is a little hoop that's broken. Um, maybe silver. We'll see. Nope. Craft lot. If it was silver, I would scrap it, but it's broken, so there's nothing I can do with that. Um, this is showing it's copper, it's a ring, and... It's going into the craft lot. That's interesting. I don't know what kind of stone this is. Um, that looks like a piece of glass. Costume ring. Here is a locket. And it is currently empty. Let's see. Magnetic, so it's not real. Here's the other clip-on, and that's matched up. That's a nice one. Other side. Oh, what is this brooch? Oh, it's missing one stone. Darn it. Oh, I hope I find this stone and I can fix that. This this is super pretty. Look at that. Look at that bird. I hope I can find this stone. I want to fix this guy. Brooches are... Oh, is the lock broken too? Gosh darn it. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Okay, that's going in crap. The lock's broken and it's missing stone. So. Oh, too bad. Okay. Here is a chain that... is attached to a broken pendant craft lot earring animal print cute pierced and that's a pendant oh that's a pretty earring very pretty It looks like it would be like a Liz Claiborne or something. It's it's nice costume. And this looks like quartz. The chain is broken. Someone can fix that though, I'm sure. Let's see if it tests as quartz. That test is pink jade. So we need to fix this. Beautiful. Yep, pink jade. So I don't know how I'm gonna do it, but I will fix that. And I think it's just a matter of fixing that one link. 
here. So we will see if I can do it. I'm going to just put that back right now. And so we don't lose it. All right. All right. This is going to be pretty once it's fixed, right, guys? Beautiful. Pink jade. Very nice. Here's a little bead. Um, craft lot. Here we have a caged pearl pendant. That's pretty. Hoop earring, which you know I love. I'd like to find some more silver, like real silver ones, but that's nice. This is rusted. Put that over there. All right. A lot of tangles, which is why I'm doing the bottom here so I don't bore you guys. Um, all right. This is a cute little bracelet. It says love, but it's really tarnished there. So that'll go into craft. And this will also go into craft because it's broken. That was a bracelet. Here we have, um, this looks like, this looks like the match to the Stella and Dot bracelet. Yep, that's what it is. And let me see if the necklace is in good condition. It is. The necklace is fine. It just needs some cleaning, I think. I don't know. I don't know, guys. I feel like I can't tell if this is just, I think it's just a couple different tones of beige and rose gold. I thought maybe it was tarnished, but that's Stella and Dot. It's still pretty. Hold on to that. Here's the match to that earring. And what's this? So 70s, right? This was probably a pendant. It still could be a pendant. You could throw a chain on there. I'm going to hold on to that. This is a necklace. Hmm. I think that's real turquoise in there. Interesting. Pretty. Hold on to that. What is this crazy piece? Oh, here's that other earring. I like this earring. This was a pretty little piece. That matched. What is this now? All right, first of all, there's a lot clinging to it. I can't believe 40 minutes have gone by. Look at this necklace, interesting. All right, that's very disco. This needs a cleaning though. That has to sit in like a bath. That's pretty. Cute. All right, I might have to clean that up. That's interesting looking. And what do we have here? I'm going all over the place, just like I did in my auction. Poor Dawn from Hudson Vintage. I was like going all over the place with my list. And she was like, where are you right now? <laughs> I was like Looney Tunes, trying to find things that people would like. Um, that's cute. That's a cute little necklace. I feel like my stepdaughter's going to like that. I'm putting that away for her. Alyssa, always thinking of you. Um, that's a pretty little ring. And let's see if there's any marks in there. There is. That says NF. 
I don't know what that stands for. That might be an Avon brand. But I will test that guy. And here is, oh, what's this? This looks vintage. Oh, I hope this is in good condition, guys. This is really pretty. All right, say a small prayer. Um, I like this. I just bought something like this in purple tones. Okay, no maker's mark on this. Ah, one stone is missing. That makes me crazy. But you, I don't think you can tell. Look how pretty that is. I'm going to see if I can find the stone, although I don't think you'd ever really see it. There's one tiny pink stone missing right there. Um, I don't see a maker's mark, but if the stone is there, all I'll need to do is drop it in and that will look adorable. I'm gonna hold on to that. This is cute. Look how the beads glow. This is, it's very hot in here right now. The beads are very cute on that. This is another brooch. And I don't know, I think this is just crafted probably with pieces. It's not in the best condition. Here we have a bracelet. This looks costume. Yep. Looks vintage though. So I'll hold on to that. Mm, tangles, tangles, tangles. Here's a stretch. Pretty. And there's the match to that earring, which I really liked. Cute, very pretty and sparkly. Pretty for prom with like a pink dress. Um, what is this? This is for a little photo. Maybe I should put Mark's, did this move again? Maybe I should put Mark's picture in there and wear it on a necklace. That'd be funny. He would die. He'd be so embarrassed if I walked around like that. Um, this is a pendant. It's interesting. I'm going to have to ask Dawn about that. Um, I don't know if that's vintage or not, but I'm going to put that aside to inquire about. And that's just a bead. I'm that's why I keep hitting it. I'm so sorry, guys. I just realized every time I put something over there, I'm probably moving this um, iPad. This is pretty. Oh, I hope I find a match to that one. I like that earring very much. Let's see. Okay, what is this guy? Um, a lot of the stones are missing here. And it looks like there's a clover on the end, but it doesn't really look like a Lucky brand. And that's too bad. That would have been nice. Um... I'm sure that's not sterling. It'd be nice if it was. It's so heavy. It is not. Craft lot. Oh, well. Oh, well. This is love. Love. I have a necklace like that. And I'm sure that's not silver. But we'll see. We'll test it. And we have the match to that clip on. So I'll put that over there. And here's another clip on. I feel like I've gotten that one before. I don't know how I remember that, but 
Here is a ring. This looks like it's marked. I think that probably is silver. It's got some flowers on it. I will test that too. I've got a bunch of silver in here. This is so pretty. And so now we have the match on that, which I think could be sterling. Here is a clip-on. That's the UPS guy. God, they must hate me. It's a little clip-on. And yes, here's, oh, this is broken, darn it. No, it's not, it's not. Oh, there's the match to this earring I really like. I might bring that to auction. These are really pretty. Hold on. This brown one. It's just twisted. I don't want to break it. Gosh, these these take a beating in these bags, don't they? Ah, all right, I'll work on that after. But that's that's going to be in good condition. So that's awesome. I really like those earrings. Okay. This is a homemade dream catcher. It's kind of worn. Craft lot. So this wound up being a nice bag. You know, I found a bunch of silver and I'm about halfway through. And this was not crazy expensive. So I am pleased with this one. I have been very lucky. I cannot complain recently about my luck with these bags. This is very tangled. And I think if I pull this through, God, you have to have patience with this. It's unreal how much detangling you need to do. Sometimes I find it relaxing. Other times I'm like, oh, I'm going to break it. Okay. That's kind of neat. This is an interesting mix of like sparkle and chains and metals. Okay. Oh, it's broken. Oh well. Yeah. That's seen better days. Too bad. And this is a broken piece that will go into craft. And this is a bracelet. And that's an infinity sign right there. That could be sterling. I'll test that. Nice amount of sterling in here, right? Aw, oh, these are pretty. Lever backs, crystals. Every time I do a video, there's always sounds. That's a little pendant, very cute. Fake, costume, sorry, shouldn't say fake. Costume, that's a little post earring. My hands are disgustingly filthy from these bags. This was a brooch. It is broken. Let me see something. Where is that necklace? I think the pink stone in here is similar to the pink stone in here. So I'm going to hold on to this and see if I can harvest that because that's worth saving. That's a really nice piece. This um, pretty beads on that kind of matches the pink one. I bet that's the same maker. And, oh my goodness, I guess I'm going to have to split this in two, aren't I? Okay, this is one of the magnetic things that I'm putting into crafts because it's probably clinging all these things together. All right, let's see what this is. This looks like a few things. I see a dream catcher necklace and I see a charm bracelet. So here's the charm bracelet and this, oh my gosh, this is hilarious. It says, says stranger things 
Netflix. This is a Netflix bracelet from Stranger Things. That's probably going to sell well. That's really cool. If you're a Stranger Things fan. Um, all right, let's see what this is. This is the Dreamcatcher necklace. And I can hear my stepdaughter saying, I want that. I want that. She loves dream catchers. Um, very cool turquoise. That's pretty. Very pretty. All right, what is this? Um, silver bracelet. I'm sure it's silver tone. Yep, silver tone bracelet. I don't really save those because I get those in every single one. So many tangles. All right, I'm going to have to work on some of this. Let's pull out a couple more things, and then I will work on this myself. And I still owe you guys, I have to show you a few pieces I got in the Dallas bag that I still haven't gotten to. I have not forgotten. I was just really excited to open this. This is a pretty little bracelet with Mother of Pearl. There. Yeah, I don't forget. It's just that if I'm having one of those days where I really want to you know, open something up. I just have to do it. Hopefully you guys can understand, but that's how I feel. These are clip-ons. That's wood. And these are costume bracelets, bangles. Yep. Yep. Oh, just a few more. Don't I always say that? Just a few more. Just a few more. And then, before you know it, it's another 20 minutes. I am not good at resisting. Um, this is a broken chain. Too bad. It's a pretty chain. Yeah. Craft lot. Craft lot. This is one of those um, bracelets you kind of pull on there. It's cute. Hmm, I hear jingle bells. Don't you? And that's going to go into craft. I'm not going to sell that one. So that will go into craft. Um, let's see. Here's a little earring. My hands are so gross. I'm so embarrassed. Ugh. Craft lot, but what's an, what's that? That looks sterling. I think that's probably sterling. It's a ring. And craft lot. This, I do not know what this was. I'm guessing it was a necklace. Or maybe that's a Christmas ornament. I don't know, but that's really pretty. I'm holding on to that. I don't know why, but I am. Um, okay. Bug is flying around me. All right, I'm going to end here, guys. What's this? Is this amber? That might be amber. No, I think that's a bead. That's a bead. And let's see if that's silver. I'll test that too. All right, guys. Thank you for joining. And um, for those of you who... I'm going to put that in craft. It's broken. For those of you who purchased something from me at the auction, haven't gotten to me yet... Um, please do reach out. That's pretty. Please do reach out so I can complete the sale and send that off to you. If you're not interested anymore, let me know that too. This is broken. Um, and that's it. Have an amazing rest of your weekend and I'll talk to you soon. Thank you.